All right, hey, what's up everybody? Um, today we are at Lake Burton in Georgia, right? Northern Georgia, how do you? North Georgia. So today we're at, in Georgia, obviously, um, Lake Burton, hanging out, enjoying some pool time and some jet ski time. Um, all four of these kids right here, these guys, these gentlemen, these men, um, they all have something in common, like me, myself, and I. Um, so let's start it off. What, what, what do you, what's your name? My name's Luke. Um, I have XXY. I was diagnosed when I was 11. And what, what's something that you really enjoy doing? What do you like doing for fun? Reading. Reading? All right. Mostly. Sweet. I'm Kevin. I'm 21. I was diagnosed with XXY at age 19, and I enjoy dirt biking at my lake house. It's pretty fun. My name's uh, Jonas Bowman. I'm 19. I was diagnosed at the age of 15 and something I like to do is ride my four-wheeler and play baseball. Uh, my name is uh, Vincent. I was diagnosed like 13 or 14 um, and my favorite thing and I have XXY and I like my favorite thing is uh, playing games hanging out with my friends and and how old are you? I'm uh, 15. Okay and also I'm Ryan I'm 32 I was diagnosed in utero uh, my parents told me at 9 and I also have XXY. So all of us, um, we got done with a support group meeting yesterday or a, a, a social at someone's pool down in Atlanta. And uh, all of these guys never had met each other before. Um, and then Kevin just said, like, what, what, what'd you say? Just wanted to invite yeah, them all just up. Wanted and to hang out and, you know, reunite again and have fun on the lake with uh, new friends. And so, um, like, what are some challenges that you guys had growing up as far as, or now, and now that you guys have in your lives, um, and are you guys all on testosterone, or um, are you guys on other things? Uh, I'm on testosterone. <laughs> okay. Uh, every two weeks on uh, Friday. And what, is it injection? Injection in the arm. Okay. And do you do it yourself, or does mom do it? Mom does it. Okay. Sweet. It's all good. Um, Kevin, any, yeah, I'm not on testosterone. Yeah, because your body is your body making it. Um, yeah, I'm producing enough testosterone to last me a couple more years. That's awesome. I'm taking testosterone, not currently, but what, I guess my body's starting to make testosterone. And what were you on before? Testum. Testum. So testum is a, a rub-on cream, right? More like an alcohol gel. Okay. But and what about what yes. about yourself? Um, I take testosterone and I. Uh, Injected myself in the uh, thigh. Oh, sweet, awesome. Um, so, let's, what, what's going on? Like, what, what, what do you guys, what do you guys want to tell other people, or other kids your age, or like, you know, have you guys, have you guys learned some stuff about since you guys have been diagnosed, or um, like, what do you guys, how do you guys cope with anxiety? I don't have anxiety. You don't have anxiety? No, not at all. Not at all. Oh, awesome. Do you, you guys, are you guys any, uh, any of you guys have coping? These are just. You know, the way I cope is like, I just, I'll do something that I like doing, like a hobby, I'll find a hobby and just, you know, go do that, like dirt biking or fishing on the lake or, you know, something I can get my mind off of. Like the, whatever's freaking you out or yeah, whatever. jet skiing, just ways to relieve my stress. And it's things that you do that you, that you don't think, that you don't yeah. overthink yourself and stuff exactly. like that. Things that make me more happy, you know. Just okay. And not... So what happens when you like when it happens when you get anxious? Do you like go into a depression state or? I I just kind of if I'm like really anxious I'll freak out and okay. that's when I have to really calm myself down and take deep breaths and either meditate or just you know relax and you know either talk to myself or just just you know coping skills like that calm me down. And does it help? Do you think it helps when you are like if you're if you have crazy anxiety and then like does it take you a while to? to like come down from if you're if you're talking to yourself and you're trying to get in your own head and like not let the anxiety overpower you like does it take you a little bit yes it, it just depends you know on the anxiety. It depends on the situation yeah. right it can take over for sure but you know you just gotta find new ways to cope with it and deal with your your anxiety because I've, I've had it my whole life so i've just been dealing with it the hard way but i've i've found new ways to a lot of you know programs and professional stuff like that definitely well what, what about yourself Luke just hobbies reading a hole up in a room kind of work on some, a project that I try to work on whenever I have it but 
don't have anxiety, I stop. When I get it again, I strap back on it. It's, so what? It's but but what about like? Do you have anxiety attacks like doing new things or going places or like social settings? No, or being most, a, mostly it's just uh, driving and whatnot. But okay. That, it. I never really had anxiety until a few years ago, and so I started. I guess I had anxiety when I was younger. I don't remember having any. And do you, do you guys take anything for anxiety? Are you guys are any guys on meds or anything like that? I yeah. I, I have meds. Okay. For mine. And do they help you? They or? do, but you have to consist. But it takes a while to build up. So like Lexapro? Uh, no, uh, sertraline. I used to take Lexapro, and then I did something. I don't know. I think I got a rat. I don't know. So like you got a side effect from taking the the medication. Mm-hmm. So what about you? Um, like you had anxiety today, right? Yeah, a little bit. And how did you overcome that? Um, just usually I'll just keep on telling myself to like calm down and like take deep breaths and like um just keep telling myself that I can do it. But like when like I have like really bad anxiety like when I'm like in math class or anything like that. And like I've had it so bad to where like last year um it was like my first or second week in like school in my new school and it was like my teacher was like saying like i sh- like we should know like how to do like this math problem or whatever because like it, it was taught in like sixth or seventh grade but like i was in another school and the school never taught that so like when i was sitting there i was getting nothing and like the anxiety just got to me to where like i just started bawling crying and I just couldn't like breathe or anything and I like literally had to call my mom at lunch like the next period to like come and get me because like I couldn't finish the day. But like... But you've gotten better, you've gotten better with that, right? Yeah. You, you're learning to cope and learning to... Yeah, like, like I'm learning to like keep it down and like breathe and like keep on like, like even like in math class or whatever, like I'll tell myself just calm down and just push through it. Like just don't, don't let it get to you. That's a, that's a really... I mean, that's, that's all anxiety is yeah. like learning from learning what like builds up in your head. And then you create these, like I cr- like when I go hiking in the woods, um, and I'm by myself and I like in Colorado or in Utah, like there's lots of animals that are in the woods. And if you're out there by yourself, um, you can like, I can create this false story that just all of a sudden like happens. And it's like, all of a sudden it's like, Oh my God, if a bear was to attack me from this angle, like what would I do? And how would I, you know, how would I like defend myself from the situation? And then all of a sudden I have like this whole story and scenario built up of like, what's gonna happen if like an animal or something attacks me from a certain, like a certain position or something like that. And then I like tell my, I'm like, tell myself, I'm like, wait, like I'm just totally psyching myself out. Just totally telling myself like to turn around and go back and to stop the hiking like on this beautiful area. And I'm not gonna get to like the end of the waterfall and to be able to check it out because I'm like so anxious and I'm freaking myself out. So. Like I do the same thing is like I try to like tell myself like wait what's real and what's not and then like go from there so what do you guys what do you guys like to do for fun what, what about social city it's like social stuff what do, guys, what do you guys like to do for fun other than <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> no okay Fortnite. okay so all of us play video games right like yeah. what well, do you guys Fortnite. no okay well what, <laughs> what, <Fortnite. laughs> but what do you what do you guys like to play what do you guys love Call of Duty which Call of Duty all of them. All of them, All of them. except three. But did you start Call of Duty? Did you, I don't know if I you, because Call of Duty, when I was a kid, you guys weren't even alive. So like Call of Duty, the first ones, have you ever played those? Mm-hmm. Like the first original Call of Duty for computer. You yeah. never played those? Mm-hmm. All right, then we'll have to, we'll have to get together again and I'll have to bring a computer and I'll, I have all the old CDs. So do you guys know what CDs are? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> What do you so Call of Duty? Call of Duty, what all, all like Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Sure, Call Black of Duty, Ops what Black Ops 3? Black yeah, Ops, yeah, I didn't even get that far. Halo, uh, Halo. one called Gang Beast, yes, yes. What else? What I else? I mean, if it's have? not if it's not a shooting game, it's more into baseball type, CK. basketball, okay, football. I mean, I'm the sports is where it's at. And are you guys all really good at video games? I'm good I mean, at them, but spend when... Spend a decent amount on it when you don't have anything to do. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm good at, like, strategy and, like, shoot, shooting games, but, like, when it comes to, like, sports... No. Are awful. <laughs> I like, suck. <laughs> like, in real life, I'm good. But sitting down with a controller in my hand, trying to figure out... 
like pit, like where the pitch goes. Shoot? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like how do I throw? How do I sprint? Well, it's a sports game. What other games? Uh, Any other games? Racing, racing, racing games. Forza, Forza Horizon. Fortnite. You all play Fortnite no. or no? Ugh. No. Ugh. No. Ugh. No. Yeah. So Forza good at it? Horizon. I don't like PUBG. PUBG is just a. What's wrong with you? Crappy game. PUBG is where it's at. No. Yeah. But isn't like no. PUBG and Fortnite like didn't they like didn't Fortnite like steal Fortnite's everything? Kinda, yes, Fortnite. Fortnite's kind of like the shooting version of Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, no, is. no, it's not that blocky. <laughs> no, it's Minecraft is way better than Fortnite. If you're more into like the cartoon, more you don't want to see all of the blood, you don't want to see someone get their head shot off. Then the you zombies. Go for, you go for the Fortnite. Okay. It's more for the younger kids. It's for like. Like the Twitch streamer Ninja. <laughs> it's I mean, like, who knows how long he's been playing Fortnite? I mean, he started on Halo. But it's like Nintendo meets like, like Nintendo players meet like no. Smash Bros meet with guns, oh, kind no. of. No, no, no. no. It's all no. Per, it's, it's third person. It's like right. super raw. So, so, so it's, it's like, like raw. um, yeah, with guns, basically. <laughs> and you build. And you build big structures. And try to see who can get the the highest point, the fastest or something. Oh, you have to be the last one standing. Okay. It's a 100 it's like King of the person Hell. match. Yeah, it's like if H1 you're playing Z1. solo, it's 100. If you're playing like duo, it's like how many? So 100? It's still so 100 and then squad mode. Yeah. What, and then what do you guys like to do? Like um, friends, social settings, do you guys do you guys get outside and go do stuff? And well, When I'm not working in South Carolina and whenever I'm free in Atlanta, I'm always having my friends hit me up. Because I mean, most of them don't drive. Okay. But I'm that good kid, that good guy who would go and pick them up. And we'd hang out all day, mostly my college roommates. I mean, we'll get together and hang out. If not, I'll drive down to uh, Columbus and see my girlfriend, or she'll drive up. Okay. Spend the weekend together. Yeah. Sweet. Well, um, do you guys have anything else to say out there to like all the kids your age that have XXY or anything like that? If you want, if they're if they're all watching worldwide, like, do you guys have anything else? Like, just keep pushing or uh, don't let it weigh you down. Just keep your head up. Stay strong. Keep your head up and uh, reach out to others as much as you can. Try to build community like what we're doing. Out. Hanging yeah. out, like meeting friends and going out of your comfort zone and yeah, you like know. go out and like meet other people and if yeah, like go from there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Anything else? No. You guys good? Yeah. You want to say bye to YouTube? How do you guys say bye to YouTube? Adios, YouTube. YouTube. Nice meeting you guys. No, how do you? But are they, are I you don't say goodbye to YouTube. No, you don't. YouTube oh. mean to me. Okay. Well, how? Do, but it's like what? Smash that like button and what else? Come on, you guys watch YouTube. No. I don't pay subscribe. attention to that. Subscribe. Subscribe to Living with XXY. Yeah. Hit that like button. Yeah. Hit it. Smash it. <laughs> Break all right. It. Thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and check out the next episode. Who knows where it will be? Who knows who will be in it? And yeah. Thank you all. Peace out from North Georgia. Yeah. That's where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bummer. It wasn't recording. Are you kidding uh, me? Oh. Are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to have to do it again. <laughs> the entire time, I'm like... <gasps>